Thanks for clicking on the video guys, unlike last week, this week is not looking so gloomy for VR game releases, in fact, it's looking pretty damn good with six, yes, I said six, VR game releases, and four of which I'm actually pretty excited about. Yes, we've got games coming to PC VR, PSVR 2, Pico, and of course Quest. Just before we jump in though, if you like this video or my content in general, please go ahead and click that like button and leave me a comment. It brings a big smile to my face every single time, and it lets the YouTube gods know that more people need to see it. And with that out of the way, let's jump in. Our first game on the list this week, coming out on the 18th of April, is Big Shots. I've said recently I thought that VR roguelikes are kind of getting a little bit much. What I mean by that is that I kind of feel a little bit burnt out on them. But for some reason, adding mechs to the equation has me all giddy to play this. Big Shots is a mech piloting roguelike that has you battling to reclaim Earth and is coming to all major headsets including PSVR 2, PC VR and Quest. And unlike a lot of other roguelikes recently, actually has a co-op mode coming to really keep our attention. Ah, the anime inspired slash em up. Something about these games just does it for me in ways I cannot express, or understand for that matter. Soul Covenant is coming out on the 18th to all major platforms and I'm here for the ride. You'll be battling the AI controlled Deus Ex Machina that seeks to wipe us puny humans from the planet. But fear not, you won't be playing as one of us hopeless fleshbags. Instead, you'll be battling as an avatar with some pretty kick-ass weapon mechanics to boot. Next up, we have Strike Rush. Also coming out on the 18th, but only to Quest. Arena shooters are nothing new in VR, but Strike Rush might be looking to up the ante with a fresh new set of mechanics. First up, we have the ex-military robot pets that follow you around to aid in the 4v4 team matches or 8-player death matches. These cute little killing machines will not only attack your foes, but also follow your every command. I've had a play around on this already and it's pretty fun so far, especially when you get the giant Goliath robot things. It's like a walking tank. I'm actually pretty excited for this one. Not the most excited, mind you. That one's at the end of today's list, but I think the flip might be in the top three for this month's releases. It might not look as realistic or gritty as the Left 4 Dead inspired After the Fall, but the flip seems to be focusing on just having a good time with your friends, shooting weird zombie-like creatures, and I'm kind of into that. With a strong emphasis on social play and from the looks of things customizable avatars or maybe even quest avatars? Not really sure. I am sure though that loads of you will have a blast. In fact, add me and we can jump in together. Honestly, I'm not sure who this next game is for, but it's probably not for me. But that doesn't matter. Umarangi Generation is coming to VR via those lovely quest headsets you'll love so much on the 18th of April. Originally a flat screen game released in 2020 and highly praised for its original ideas, style and soundtrack, you'll be playing as an aspiring photographer exploring the city and collecting photo bounties using detailed photography mechanics. If you want to try something a bit different this month then maybe this one is the one for you. Don't get me wrong, I'm gonna try it, I just don't think it will grip me, but on the other hand, I have been wrong before. This last one is my most anticipated game release, not just of this week, but this entire month. Strayed is Rust in VR. I'll say that again, Rust in VR. Open world, check. Survival, check. Exploration, check. Building, check. Other people coming to ruin your day? Check. This game has everything that I don't think we really knew we needed in VR, but trust me, you'll be glad we have it at the end of this week. I've been playing the closed beta for a couple of months now, and it's so much fun. A little frustrating at times, but way more fun. Straight is coming to PC VR and Quest on the 19th of April. And that's all we have for this week, my guys. There's a lot this week to sink your teeth into, and honestly, I'm not sure how I'm going to manage to balance at least playing four of these before our next week's releases. But stay tuned, I've got review videos coming out by the buttload over the next few weeks. As always, let me know what you guys are going to be playing this week. But most importantly, stay awesome, and I'll catch you for the next one.